All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, it's time for a final review of the Devo Knives Growler version 2. Uh, there we go. There's the sticker I was looking for. This is Stonewash 154 CM and uh, dark blue anodization. Now, I will have a little... Uh, caveat on where it says stone wash there. We'll have a little caveat on that in a minute. This comes from Devo Knives. They sent this to me for review. Uh, definitely still going to give you an honest, uh, my honest thoughts on the knife, which uh, by the way, spoiler alert, uh, I like it. Uh, so more to come obviously, but, um, and we'll do a comparison to the original growler as well. Now, this guy is uh, coming up for uh, sale on White Mountain Knives exclusively on the 7th of September 2023 at noon. Now, if you're watching this before that uh, and you're interested, definitely be ready because my belief is these will go very quick. I'm going to open the knife so you can see it uh, while I talk here for a minute and then I'll get to more of it. Um, and there will be three versions. There's the compact of uh, the Ugh. Carbon fiber with satin and blue accents for 109. The dark blue aluminum, which is this one with stone wash, but it's it's actually a sand wash is what they're calling this. And satin accents for 109. And a white G10 with a black wash and black accents for 99. So those are what's coming on September 7th at noon only at White Mountain Knives. And you guys know I'm an affiliate, so you can use code KNIVESFAST. Don't listen to Kevin Lefty EDC and use that Lefty 10 thing. Use Knives Fast and that'll get you 10% off and free shipping on this baby. Now, this is the dark blue aluminum. It is still flat. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. It is contoured. Uh, <laughs> the original was flat is what I was trying to say. And this is contoured uh, and chamfered off very nicely and is a beautiful dark blue uh, aluminum. Now you do have a reversible wire clip. Yeehaw. There you go. Uh, very cool. You have satin hardware. Now, again, this blade is very thin, comes down to a very, we'll go over the specs in a minute, but a very thin edge, high, high flat grind, beautiful belly here. Nice tip for getting down into packages. Now they're calling this a sand wash. It sounds like it was like sand washed and then maybe I don't know if it was... Nah, we're just going to say sand wash because that's all I know for sure. Um, there was something about bead blast, but I don't think so. And Kevin didn't have any troubles with rusting the ones he's got. So I don't think it it is. I think it is sand wash. You can see it's just a very consistent breakup uh, as opposed to the randomness and shininess of their um, stone wash. This is more muted and satin-like, uh, if you will. Now, uh, very cool. Again, the action on this one is fantastic. I also reviewed uh, the prototype of the white G10 and black blade one. And uh, equally, the detent was spot on for that one. You can go back and check my video for that. Definitely uh, got that right before blade show, I think. Uh, access to the lock bar is excellent. Now you do have this jimping, but the lock bar is easy enough to access and moves easy enough where it's not an issue. I can sit here and flick the snot out of it and not have an issue. You guys know my feelings on that jimping. It's not my favorite thing. I'd rather just have a clean chamfer there, uh, but it is what it is. Now you do have a four finger grip back here, but just, and guys, the money grip on this one is this choked up grip. Now they went with jimping all the way out. Look at that. Jimping for days. You could be back here. You could be way up here. You could be like this. And there is jimping. No uh, billboarding except right under here. We've got 154 CM. I don't know if you can see that. Come on. Yep. Uh, very cool. You got your Devo knives, your DK right there on the pivot and uh, tooling on this side of the pivot. Now, uh, one note, I just gave you the note about the sand wash. One note here. I don't know what the anodization process is on this aluminum. It is, um, shoot, I cannot remember the grade of the aluminum. Um, shoot, I think Kevin sent me a message. But it's the, it's the normal aluminum that everyone uses. Um, and 
But with this particular anodization, it does tend to scratch up. You can see under the clip there, I've scratched a little bit. And then I carry it in the pocket like such. And you can see just a few, it's going to be hard to pick them, mostly on the kind of the edges here. You see that? You can very much see where it's kind of scratched up a little bit there. Kevin had his keys in the same pocket, and his is kind of marked up pretty dang good. Um, so bear that in mind. If you get this variant, it's going to mark up, okay? It just is, um, and it's just something to do with this particular grade, this particular um, anodization on this aluminum, if you will, if I can talk. Uh, but it's really, really cool. Now, what are the differences between the original Growler and this one? Well, obviously, uh, this one was done by Shielden. This one's done by Kubi. And you guys know my thoughts on Kubi. I think they do a fantastic job. And my thoughts on Shielden is uh, they're kind of all over the place. This one, the detent was a little soft on mine. The hole is too big. Uh, so they have shrunk the hole down, as you can see. It is definitely shrunk in there and much easier to access. Um, you can see this is a flat scale. This is contoured. Um, I mean, you know, th this is a good knife. It's just very much more square feeling. There was no jimping here at all. Uh, there's jimping all the way out. The contouring of the scales, uh, and it also, by the way, with the contouring and the wire clip, uh, you feel the clip, but it is definitely not a hot spot for me. Feels really, really nice in the hand. By the way, the action drops like crazy, just comes on down very easily, and the detent is spot on. Whereas on this one, the detent was, again, the action was still pretty good, but the, yeah, the detent was just kind of all over the place. Uh, not great. Um, lock bar was about the same, but um, we didn't have... Uh, the jimping, so I actually like that a little bit better. But, you know, everybody's got their thing. Um, now, I will tell you guys, the carbon fiber version is absolutely one that has caught my eye. For sure, it is beautiful. And uh, so definitely keep that one in mind as well. But obviously, my choice uh, would definitely be the blue because you got to have the blue. Now, it is 154 cm. Uh, you have three blade finishes, satin, stone wash, and black wash, depending on which one you get. Weave carbon fiber, G10, or aluminum. And then you have 0.12 inch uh, uh, stock here. So very nice and thin uh, in that regard. And the blade length is 3.3 inches. Uh, the handle thickness is just 0.47, so it's a little thinner as well, which is nice. Uh, handle length is 4.2, the total length 7.5, 3.5 ounces with a reversible tip-up wire clip, liner lock, of course, and by the way, that weight is just perfect, done by Kubi. Again, 109 uh, for the satin, uh, with the carbon fiber with satin and blue accents, for the dark blue aluminum with stone wa or sand wash and satin accents, those are both 109. For 99, you get the white G10 and black wash. And don't forget, White Mountain Knives coupons will apply. So you can use Knives Fast at checkout, get 10% off, and free shipping at White Mountain. So don't forget, September the 7th at noon, these are coming out. Now, uh, the original Growlers, if you got a good one, there were some, you know, I know some people had other issues. Uh, there's some really inconsistent satin going on up here at the there's there's just you know it just wasn't as good the clip i i didn't care for the clip um and things like that it's a good knife but this is way better uh way way better very very nice and again again if it's blue you know i'm gonna dig it now guys as far as performance um let's just let's get a piece of cardboard here this guy is absolutely a slicer I mean, the, the amount of pressure you have to put is, I mean, I'm not. It is just, because again, I think it's coming down, Kevin said like 0 0.015 here or something like that. I don't remember for sure. Um, and I don't have good calipers, but you get this really good, you can see with the grip, it's just magnificent, guys. I'm not kidding. Um, I could just sit here and do this all day, uh, even against the grain of the cardboard. And again, because of that belly, 
you're getting a slice that's going, you know what I'm saying? I did come out that time with a really long cut, uh, but I dig it very, very much. This is going to be a knife that a lot of people like to uh, use for work, which is why I kind of like the stone wash slash, slash sand wash version here uh, over a satin or a black blade uh, because I think it's going to hold up well if you are using it uh, for work. Um, again, doesn't matter. Whatever version you like is the one you should go for um, if you can. Now, guys, I'm predicting Kevin hates when I do this, but Devo Knives has the hype power going on and has uh, some great, beautiful designs happening. And these are going to go fast. There are quite a few of them, I believe, but I have a feeling these are going to go pretty quick. So if you want one, if you have the money, I would get ready. And again, uh, people have been asking me, is the small hole better? And the answer is absolutely. You can be anywhere in that little hole. It's not very big. Uh, by the way, the, the closer you get up, the, the stronger the detent falls. So it feels like to me, I still stay towards the end of the hole, but it is way better deployment wise than the original was. So guys, what do you think? Let me know what you think down below. Uh, are you getting in? I'm trying to drop this a couple of days or a day before, you know, somewhere in the range of uh, when these are going to drop. Um, and just let me know, are you going to, are you targeting to get one? Uh, if you see this after the fact, did you get one? And let me know what you think. So guys, there you go. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Sorry, this was a little longer video, but had a lot of ground to cover and uh, do all the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you for watching the Knives Fast channel.